Now, on my card, I have three words. One of sheer relief, complete happiness, and I'm just full of pride. Now, the reason I'm relieved, I think you can guess, these two have finally tied the knot. And the name Mrs. Mullen, I love it. I love it. I really do. Now, my pride is that I'm Nancy's mum. <laughs> and the reason I'm happy, well, that's all down to Jesse, to be quite honest. To have him as our son-in-law, I feel so happy. You are the best son-in-law we could wish for. You have proven your love for Nancy over these years. And I know everything you do is to build a future for them too. Ever since she was a nipper, she dreamt of meeting her Prince Charming and having a fairy tale wedding. Well, today that dream has come true. And thanks to you guys for sharing a dream with her. And a Prince Charming, well, Jesse, what can I say? Well, I'm honored to have you as a son-in-law, Jess. And I know you're gonna look... I know for a fact you look after my little Nance, my little princess. Well, she's not a princess anymore. Today, she officially became a queen. She married her King Jesse, yeah? My lovely little Nance. I'm so proud of you, sweetheart. Really, really am proud of you. You look absolutely beautiful. I just want to thanks, say thank you to everyone for sharing our special day, for traveling so far. I mean, some of you have come all of two miles to be with us today. <laughs> we, really, we really appreciate that, don't we, Nance? We do. I want to say thank you to Lee and Sally thank you for your kind words. Thank you for welcoming me into the family. I'd also like to say thank you to all the bridesmaids and all the groomsmen. I'm sure you all agree they all look wonderful today. All the effort they've made, the hair looks great, the makeup looks great, the gym body's ready for the big day. And the bridesmaids ain't all that bad either. <laughs> I honestly believe my mum sent you to me and I just want to thank you for being you. Thank you for supporting me. <clears throat> and thanks for making me the happiest man in the world.